Hello, my name is Laura Gonzalez and I will be replying today to Lorena's video on the news this week from New York Times. On her first article, she discusses the, the damages that Hurricane Ian um, provoked or impacted in Florida. I've been watching the news recently about Hurricane Ian because um, of the devastations and the damages. I've even seen people talking about their own life experience through this hurricane. And it wasn't easy, it wasn't easy, and it was horrible. The aftermath of this hurricane left devastation everywhere. Buildings completely vanished, boats damaged, the beaches, trees, everything. Daniela mentions in her video how the death toll is still racing as they find more and more people who were very affected by the storm. The last time I read about this, um, there was at least 125 people dead due to the storm. Um, there's a lot of people that are completely without home after Hurricane Ian since their houses are completely destroyed. Even when the mandatory evacuation didn't comply for most and many stayed at their houses. Um, I also knew that Biden visited Florida and together with Governor Ron DeSantis, he pledged to support Florida's effort to reveal uh, from Hurricane Ian, and they already started to work on it. Her last article talks about Biden pardoning thousands of people convicted of marijuana possession under federal law on Thursday. To me, this article is really interesting I heard something about it sometime this week, but I didn't pay that much attention until now. Um, his administration will review whether marijuana should still be the same, I mean, this, in the same category as the drugs like LSD and heroin. And this pardon will apply to everyone convicted of possession. And it also affects whoever was convicted on the District of Columbia drugs law. And on the other hand, this pardon would not apply to those people convicted for selling or distributing marijuana. I really like the attitude that Biden took towards this um, issue. Um, this pardon is good for all those people that were in jail for possession, not for distributing or selling, but yes, for, for possession. These people are now able to find a job without any problems, and they're able to apply for college. And it will also be good to apply for federal get, uh, benefits. And even though that there was a lot of Republicans that were against this and said that this will go towards his election and that's why he's taking these advantages of pardoning people for possession of marijuana so they can get out of jail. Um, even though it's true that he, he might be doing this to get attention and for the votes in the elections, is still something that I approve and I agree with it. And that's it. Thank you for listening.